Hi, welcome to Miller Manufacturing. If you're taking the time to watch this video, odds are you're a beak. Here at Miller, we are too. When we found out the world was facing a bee and pollinator shortage, we wanted to be part of the solution. That's why we developed Little Giant Beekeeping Supplies. Our supplies are designed to help the beginner and established beekeeper create and maintain their backyard hives. We hope that our retail products encourage more people to take up beekeeping and help end our current pollinator peril. It goes without saying that beekeeping supplies revolve around the hive. With this in mind, the Little Giant Complete Beehive was designed to be the cornerstone of backyard beekeeping. Our hive utilizes the Langstroth hive design, the standard for modern beekeeping. It's built to respect the bees' space without destroying the colony when inspecting the hive or removing the honey. The Little Giant Complete Beehive is comprised of a number of components, each with a specific location and function. The hive stand, while not included with your complete beehive, serves as the base for your hive to deter pests and rodents from gaining access. A basic stand is easily constructed of plywood and a couple of cinder blocks. Make sure you place the hive stand on clear, level ground. Now there's no simple answer as to where exactly to put your hive, but a sunny, wind-protected location is best. And while it should remain convenient for the beekeeper, it should be kept away from any trails, walking paths, or areas that are frequently disturbed. It's important to be aware of the presence of mites within your hive. Parasitic mites can devastate an entire colony of honeybees. That's why at the base of your little giant complete beehive, you'll find a mite grid and screened bottom board. Mites fall off the bees through the specially sized screen and onto the mite grid. They can't climb back up to find a new host, so you're now able to monitor and decide on a course of action to control the mite presence within your colony. The next portion of your hive is the deep hive body, also referred to as the brood box. This is where the queen bee lays her eggs and the worker bees raise the larvae. This deep hive body can hold up to 10 deep frames. Only one deep hive body is needed to start your hive. As the hive grows, you will need to add additional hive bodies, or supers, in order to support the expansion. Depending on your climate, additional deep hive bodies may be necessary to provide your colony with honey during the months when outside nectar and pollen are unavailable. Check with your local beekeeping association to find out what works best in your region. The medium super, sold separately, is the upper box or boxes where the bees store their honey. Some beekeepers refer to this as the honey super. While either a medium or deep box can be used as a honey super, most beekeepers prefer a medium super, as a deep one can weigh over 80 pounds when full of honey. This can make it difficult to lift and handle. While a full medium super can still weigh up to 50 pounds, it's still much easier to maneuver than one of the larger boxes. It's recommended that a medium super is purchased with the start of your complete hive, but it's not necessary as it can be purchased and added later. The Little Giant Medium Super comes with 10 frames, each loaded with natural colored foundation. This foundation is injection molded plastic and the natural colored honeycomb cells are coated with beeswax to encourage production. A queen excluder is made with specially sized holes that allow worker bees to move about the hive while keeping the queen out of the honey super. With this placed between your brood box and other boxes, you can be sure that the queen won't lay eggs in the honey super. The inner cover should be installed on top of the uppermost box. This cover prevents the outer cover from being sealed to the hive because the bees will produce beeswax and propolis, a sticky resin, within their hive. Oftentimes, a hive tool will be needed to pry it off. There's a small notch cut in the front of this cover for ventilation. No matter how tall your hive gets, the inner cover should always be on top of the highest box. Located on the top of your hive, the telescoping cover is the last component of your little giant complete beehive. The cover is made of solid pine and topped with aluminum for protection from the weather. The cover is oversized to give it a telescoping feature, providing the hive with extra protection from the elements. The cover can slide front to back in order to provide more or less ventilation to the hive through the inner cover. Before your hive can be used, you need to decide whether to paint or stain the hive to protect it from the elements. However, regardless of how you choose to finish your hive, you should leave the inside unfinished. If you choose to paint your hive, any color can be used in northern climates, but in southern climates, lighter colors like white or pastels are recommended to keep the hive from getting too hot inside. Make sure to plan ahead for your spring bee installation. The hive should be completed about a month before bees are loaded into it. That allows paint and stain to dry before bees start to make their home. With an assembled hive, the next component is bees. 
You can work with your local beekeeper association to find the best place to purchase your bees. This is a great way to ensure you're using a reputable supplier and getting the right bees for your region. Most bees are ordered late in the calendar year for delivery or pickup the following spring. With the Little Giant Complete Beehive and your own set of bees, you're well on your way to joining the beekeeping revolution. Thanks for watching.